Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video we will discuss how you can draw a data flow diagram automatically using ChatGPT and Draw.io. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. Karen Jetley Live. So guys, to make your DFD, okay, so what you have to do is you have to use ChatGPT. So all of you are aware of ChatGPT. Now suppose you want to make a context level DFD for a library management system. Okay. So here in the chat GBT prompt, so what you have to write is write mermaid code to make context level DFD for library management system. So I wrote some spellings wrong but it doesn't matter so just click here and here you will see the code to make a context level dft for a library management system so this code is written in mermaid so what you have to do is simply copy this code okay then you go to draw.io okay so all of you are aware of this tool okay so even if you are not aware so simply you can type as draw.io what is showing here and this will open okay so go there okay then click on arrange then click on insert so when you click on insert you will see here, here mermaid okay so click on mermaid so a canvas will open and paste that code which you copied from your chat gbt and click on insert and here you get your context level DFD for a library management system. So here you can see the user, here you can see the librarian, here you can see the system and here you can see the different databases which system is using. Okay. And you can also make changes to it. Okay. So if you want to change the username to student, simply double click on it and you can write it there. And guys, this is for the context level DFD. So similarly, similarly, you can also create a DFD for level one. Okay. So for example, this is my chat before I can edit it and instead of context level. So I simply put as level one DFD. Okay. So then I send. So see now it has generated the code for level one. So let it complete. Okay. So then we copy the code and again, I open a new file blank diagram. So I save it as FD one. And again, I click on arrange. I click on insert. Then I go to mermaid and I paste that code and you can see a level one DFT appears. Okay. So guys, I hope this helps. So in case you want to learn how to draw DFDs manually for that, I have another videos. I will leave their links in the description. And guys, after you make it, you can also edit it as I told you earlier. Okay. So this will help you a lot and it will make your life much easier. So guys, all of you, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.